Hello everybody, my name is Barry Taylor and I'm very excited to be guiding you through the next four weeks of conversations around the topic of radical theology. I think we're going to do is each week there'll be a pre-recorded component which you'll be able to uh, kind of look at and that's going to be kind of a, a, a general sketch outline of a trajectory of the development of radical theology since the middle of the 20th century. There are antecedents and we'll, we'll reference those a little bit but generally um, I'm, I'm going to talk about um, the development um, in radical theology out of um, the death of God theology and the movement up that came after the death of God. And we're gonna take a, a sort of brief look at some of the key developments and the key figures, key thinkers. And then when we get together and, and talk both about the, the recording, uh, we'll also be able to discuss uh, other issues in depth um, because I'm very interested in your particular um, curiosities, uh, ideas and pursuits of radical theology as it relates to your life and, and to your world. We'll get going on uh, this week's conversation, which I'm calling Gone But Not Forgotten, um, after a painting by Damien Hirst. Well, actually not a painting by Damien Hirst, it's a, it's a sculpture. I think we have to start um, with uh, a notion that probably is most popularly uh, brought to mind through the work of uh, Frederick Nietzsche. Uh, there are antecedents in both culture and theology for this. Arguably, you can find ideas about the death of God in, in, in the writings of the Apostle Paul. Um, Hegel uh, has a, a very sort of uh, logical theory about the death of God. But I, but I think in our, in our culture, and particularly in the development of uh, much of the trajectory of radical theology. It's uh, Nietzsche where things both end and then uh, begin, because any conversation about theology, to my mind, in the 21st century, radical or, or otherwise, must deal with the notion of, of the death of God, because we live in the aftermath of uh, the death of God. It's one of those um, moments in the, the, the history of culture, uh, of philosophy, but also of theology that, that kind of uh, puts a stake in the ground and becomes this line, a kind of before and after moment. And they paid attention to the times in which they live, um, which is something I feel very strongly that, that we must do. Anyway, I look forward to um, getting together with you live online and talking through this and many other things. And I'm excited to uh, hear back from you. So I'll see you soon.